In the night fire, Renee Ballard teams up with Harry Bosch again. It's the old guard and the new guard, and they work both an old case and a new one. It starts with Bosch attending the funeral of the detective who mentored him as a young investigator. His widow has something for Bosch, and it turns out to be a murder book. The records from an investigation into an unsolved murder from 1990. He takes the case to Ballard, who is still working the night shift in Hollywood, and has just caught a case of her own. The murder of a homeless man whose tent was set on fire with him sleeping in it. Remember, Renee is somewhat homeless herself. She works the night shift and then sleeps in a tent on the beach during the day. So her case strikes a deep chord. It even invades her dreams. Meantime, Bosch gets pulled into another investigation, this time teaming up with Mickey Haller, his half-brother known otherwise as the Lincoln Lawyer. Haller is defending a man accused of murdering a Superior Court judge, and there is something about the case that just seems wrong to Bosch. But the trial is already underway, and that puts Bosch and his reinvestigation of the case on a clock. So this book has at least three strands of story wrapped tightly around each other, and I think it creates an urgency in the plot that really sets up the relentlessness that Bosch and Bauer bring to their work. It's also a story that ranges from Venice Beach to the nighttime streets of Hollywood and the glass towers of downtown Los Angeles. You no doubt will get to know the City of Angels through the eyes of Renee Ballard and Harry Bosch.